Hello guys and welcome to the part 4 of creating um, a website, a static website from scratch uh, as the final project of the XHTML CSS chapter. Um, so I'm sorry I ran out of time in the last video. So let's proceed and style the um, these uh, links. So just right after wrapper main image, let's type uh, header ID header and ID nav. Okay, if you go to your if you go to your um, index.html, you'll see that header um, is the main uh, div, uh, and then you have the nav inside the header. So that's why we type header and then nav. Okay, so now we can give it properties, and for now the only property I want to give um, the nav is uh, font. Let's give it a font size. Let's give it a 15 pixel. Okay. Now, I'm sorry. Let's give it a 16. Yeah, that's better. Now, after Heather Nav, um, I want you guys to go up in here in um, the div header. Sorry, in the selector header. And in here, I want you guys to type text align center. Okay, so we can center the um, the navigational bar or the navigational links. And down here, we're gonna type header nav u l l i. Okay, and now we're gonna style the listed links in the uh, northern list uh, the first property I want to give the first thing I'm gonna style is take the dots out so to do that let's type list style type is none okay so we now don't have any dots here anymore um, the next thing I want to do, I want to type is uh, display inline, and you'll see that now we have the um, the links in horizontal. Okay. Uh, the next thing is let's give a padding, uh, and padding has uh, four values, has the top which is going to be three pixels it has a uh, right padding from the right eight pixels padding from the bottom three pixels and padding for on the left okay so it's a clockwise um, navigation or properties that you want to give to the padding um, so now I'm gonna give it a background a background color of uh nine nine F nine nine. Um yes, I think that's it, but it's not working, I think. Let me check. Yeah, well, um, let's give it a a green here, okay. And after um, after that, after the background, let's type uh, font size and here we can type 21 pixels and so here in the header nav instead of font size uh, what I want to do is to uh, let's type um, margin top and let's type uh, 30 pixels a little bit more uh, let's say 90 pixels sorry 90 no um, 80 yes 80 pixels. Um, 
Now I want you guys to grab all this and copy. Uh, but before you paste it anywhere, let's go to the style.css and let's delete everything that is uh, below the body. Okay, delete all that and let's paste now. Uh, everything we typed in the um, in the live CSS editor okay so now we are up to date in the style.css everything is okay in the body uh, I want to change a few things this is not correct okay uh, this should be uh, margin top okay but we don't need um, all these margins what I'm gonna do is uh, type padding zero pixels and margin let's leave margin here as auto and this will work as well um okay so if you if you refresh this okay everything is okay let's go down here and let's continue with some more properties Uh, but before that, in here in header nav, let's type, um, let's push the nav a little bit more to the to the left side. Okay, so I'm gonna push the nav here a little bit more to the left. So you can change your live CSS editor, as you can see in here in this buttons, to the left or to the right. I'm going to push it to the left so you can see this is going to be more close to the right side. I'm going to push it a little bit more. So we go to the header nav and b below margin top 80 pixels we type uh, margin uh, margin left and here you can type uh, 250 pixels and there it is. Let's push it a little bit more. 300 okay that's it um, so we now have uh, the three links uh, we have to style them a little bit more yet so now what I want to do is um, let's create an effect so whenever I hover uh, the the links they will change color okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is put um, it's grab the header nav a which are the links okay and here what I'm gonna do is take these um, lines out below the um, the names of the links and to do that we type text decoration and this uh, will only work for the a um, tags so it's uh, an anchor tag which means a link so here we type text de de sorry uh, text decoration at uh, none and you'll see that something is wrong let me check oh I miss here uh, okay so now you see that um, the lines are out we only have the names and the next thing I'm gonna do is grab the nav again a and the property or the link state hover okay and in here you're gonna type um, the color you want to give the the a uh, or the um, the links um, when you hover uh, the links the color that you want to give to them so I'm gonna give it a color of um, let's say yellow mm, sorry forgot here again nav okay so you'll see that now whenever we uh, put uh, the the mouse or the cursor over the uh, links they turn yellow okay um, so we can also type here header and put nav a and the other is visited 
the other um, type of, of state of a link which means um, when the link has already been visited change to the color that I'm gonna put in here and I'm gonna choose it um, I'm gonna choose yellow as well let me check now okay now down here let's type another nav a and let's type active so active basically is whenever you push the button or sorry whenever you push the link uh, it changes color so I can use for example um, red and you'll see that whenever I click okay it's not working let me go back down here red a active color red okay so you see that well you see that uh, whenever I, I take the cursor out I'm pushing it it's red so but I don't need that because I don't want that effect to to be in the page I want just to be yellow as well um, and instead of yellow let's, let's type white white and white okay awesome um, now the next thing I'm gonna do is change the color as well of the background color here of the listed links and I'm gonna put a nice um, green light color FF99 and there it is okay uh, it's pretty awesome the letters I'm gonna change it to um, color black and well it's not working because the color of the letters has to be in uh, in the copy here okay let's take these out color black has to be in the A okay and the um, on the anchors on the links here okay so now you see it's uh, black and as soon as we um, mouse over it it turns white okay um, now let me check another thing okay so everything is working now perfectly now what you can do is to change uh, the type of font that is used in here and I'm gonna use a font and that I uh, usually use for cool um, websites or web pages font family pristina okay there it is so this is um, a font that uh, you you need to install this font in order to use it uh, to install the font um, you can go to try uh, font try to put the font family pristina and see if it works if it doesn't work it's because you don't have the font installed on Windows so you have to type um, font uh, font pristina download and click in here the first link and you can download it here, download font, and you'll have a, um, an, uh, a file or, uh, let me just check, yeah, you have a, an executable file to download and install the font, okay? So install the font, use Pristina if you want to, it's a cool, as you see, cool um, type, of, um, type of family, font family and that's basically it I think I'm gonna leave it for now and uh, we'll continue with more in the next video okay guys see you later bye